My name is Bob Greenier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So I'm here with George Hathaway of Hathaway Research International and he has, uh, we were discussing calorimeters and uh, uh, power monitoring and he says uh, you haven't got one of these. What are, what are you referring to? It's something down here isn't it? This is uh, HP 434 calorimetric bolometer. Mm -hmm. um, it's hard to see I guess down here but this device is capable of measuring input power to a, a resistor load uh, from basically DC to about 12 gigahertz. Wow. And it. How does it do that? It does it by flowing a liquid constantly over a resistor, mm -hmm. measuring the temperature rise of the fluid as the power input heats up the resistor. Resistor is a special element that has a very wide bandwidth, up to, as I say, about 12.4 uh, gig, and it. Uh, but it's not l unlimited in power. It's about 10 watts the maximum. Mm -hmm. So this is a very accurate way of testing uh, devices that produce a little power, but with a lot of transients. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. It doesn't matter what the waveform is. It don't, you don't care. Yeah, so that you're not losing anything. So let's right. say you had a claimant that came along and they've created a, a special device that generates a little bit of electricity and it's a very choppy waveform and you want to see if that is genuinely more output than input. Correct. Uh, it'll capture all of the output energy. Yes. Right, so that being said, I think this is probably the ideal device uh, to test George Eagley's so-called magic wand, an EVO-based uh, discharge device. Uh, I think it's if he if he can make one that's claimed to be around about 10 watts output. This it would be the the thing. And um, so uh, hopefully, maybe we can work together in, in the new year if we can get some support for doing a test, uh, and yeah. we can get a device from George Eagley and and see if it uh, meets the claims that are being made for it. Yes, certainly. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you very much, George, for showing me that. What's it called again? Uh, this is called a calorimetric bolometer yeah or a bolometric calorimeter okay <laughs> and it's a hp or hewlett packard you can't get them anymore they're not made right uh, 434a the reason i have it is because it was available and was inexpensive at the time <laughs> okay and it was useful for a project and, and right what was the fluid in there the, uh, the fluid is a specific viscosity dow corning for instance 200 um uh, centistoke um, a standard, uh, a standard um, silicon. Right. Okay. So silicon it can go to quite high temperatures then. Yes. 